I know what you guys are thinking. Are you ever going to stop wearing that shirt? And the answer is no! I will never stop wearing this shirt. It's the greatest shirt of all time. Hey, what's up you guys? It is time. Welcome back to the Tyler Williams channel. And uh, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be doing my predictions to NXT TakeOver War Games, which will be tomorrow at, I believe, 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be a really good show. The weekend of Survivor Series, which is on Sunday. Uh, quick heads up, I probably will not be live streaming my reactions to War Games. Um, as you guys can tell by the way my voice is right now, I'm my throat is just like not letting up. I'm starting to cough and sneeze. I, I feel like I'm starting to get sick. And I hope not. I mean, I have sick time, so I can call off if I need to. But I really ain't trying to get sick this weekend. I ain't trying to be all up in the bed and sound all nasally in my review. I'll be doing a review of NX Ticket War Games tomorrow. If I'm feeling better, I will be doing a live stream of um, Survivor Series. But as of right now, it's just going to be reviews of the shows. This is a four-match card. So I am uh, I'm looking at this like, hmm, looking kind of short. But... We got, I know we got a War Games match in here, which is probably going to take up a good amount of time. Probably like 30, maybe even 40 minutes. Probably some of the good matches on here. I've not watched NXT in a while, so I I do know the matches that are happening. But I don't really know too much of the stories going into them. So I'm really just going to be doing predictions based off of wrestling fan logic and who I think should win. That being said, let's get straight into these predictions. Alistair Black. Johnny Gargano. Alright guys, so it's been revealed that the attacker of Aleister Black was Johnny Gargano all along. Now, I'm not really too sure why Johnny attacked him. I think Johnny Gargano is going through his rebel phase right now. So everyone just needs to chill out with the whole, oh, I don't understand why they turned Johnny. Hill. He's going through a phase right now, guys. He'll be fine. Let's look at him. He looks like an edgy teenager. Look at the way he's looking at me. He looks like a... I am very happy that we are not getting another Tomas Ciampa with Johnny Gargano match. They've had a sling of great matches this year, but I thought that uh, it was start to run its course, and if they were to do another match, it would have to be later down the line. So this was the best bet to do a whole attacker storyline and to do Aleister Black versus Johnny Gargano. Uh, Johnny Gargano attacking Aleister Black. My guessing is that Johnny Gargano attacked Aleister Black because he was the next line to face. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny want to be the next one in line because he was too determined to beat Tommaso Ciampa. So, Alex Black was in his way, so he attacked him. That's my, that is my prediction on why he attacked him. You guys might actually know, you might not know, but that's my guessing. Anyway, my prediction, I think uh, Johnny Gargano is going to win. I think with this heel Johnny, I think it might be a little uh, too early to have him lose. Especially if the uh, plan is to turn him babyface a little later down the line. So that way we can finally get that rematch between Johnny and Tomas Ciampa. That's kind of inevitable. I think it's probably best if uh, Johnny Gargano wins this match. I won't be mad if Alistair Black wins. But I think Johnny wins. Maybe a rematch at uh, TakeOver um, Phoenix. Where Alistair, I don't know. But I think I'm going to go with Johnny, Johnny Gargano here. Here we go. Shayna Baszler. And Kyrie Sane. Alright guys, so now we have the NXT Women's Championship is online. Shayna Baszler versus Kyrie Sane in a two out of three falls match. This is gonna be great. I think this is also part of the reason why the card is so short, because two out of three falls is probably gonna be a good 30 minutes, maybe. These two women have their fair share of matches over the past year with the first man classic. Then they had one at the last takeover, I believe. I think they had one at NXT Television. So this is their either their third or fourth match. The matches have been good, not like the best NXT Women's matches I've seen, but they've been good. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be another good or possibly a great one. Shayna Baszler's walking in the champion after defeating Kyrie Sane in her first title defense. I thought Kyrie Sane was going to retain and Shayna's going to go up to the main roster, but maybe it's not her time yet. Uh, I don't think they're going to have. Kyrie win the title right back because that would be too much flip flopping going on. So I'm gonna go with Shayna Baszler retaining the title. I don't think they're gonna call Kyrie Sane up to main roster because I, I honestly hope they don't. They aren't gonna do shit with Kyrie Sane. I just look at her character. I look at the way she is. I love her to death, but she is, she is as good as done. Raw, or it doesn't matter. She goes Raw SmackDown. She's as good as done. They ain't gonna do anything with her. Look at what they did to Asuka. After a year. 
But Kyrie's going to be much, much worse. So yeah, she's best being in NXT for now. Shayna will do well in Ray Walster, I'm sure. But Kyrie, death note. I don't think it's Shayna's time yet. So I think Shayna's going to retain. Tommaso Ciampa. The Velveteen Dream. The NXT Championship. I was waiting for the Velveteen Dream to finally get an NXT Championship match. And it finally has arrived. So I'm happy about this. Tommaso Ciampa will be defending his NXT Championship against the Velveteen Dream. I guess the Velveteen Dream is now a babyface. Or the crowd basically turned him babyface. Which was inevitable, of course. That being said, um... I know this is going to be a great match, maybe a match of the year, probably. Delta T. James and Master Ciampa are just two amazingly gifted wrestlers in their own right. To Master Ciampa, I think it's one of the best matches, three of the best matches of the year with Johnny Gargano, and I'm sure he's going to do it again with Velveteen Dream. If I had to make up my prediction, I believe Tommaso Ciampa is going to retain. Once again, I believe all roads are leading to Tommaso Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano and X TakeOver Brooklyn 5. So, I think Tommaso Ciampa retains here. Velveteen Dream, I think he is probably going to be in line for an NXT North America Championship win somewhere down the line, but Tomas Jump retains here. I think it's a little too early to take that off of him, so I'm going to go ahead and go with, I'm going to go with him once again. War Games. Undisputed Era. Here we go, guys. So Bobby Fish is no longer, he's back from injury. Bobby Fish is out for, I believe, majority of 2018. So it's good to see him back in the ring. So we got all four members of Undisputed Era versus the NXT North American Champion Ricochet, the NXT UK Champion P. Dunn, and the War Raiders Hanson and Rowe. Uh, last year's War Games match was really good. I would think it's uh, overlooked often a lot, but uh, it was really good. I believe it was between, I believe it was like Adam Cole, uh, I know they faced Sanity, but it was like Adam Cole and like three other guys, I don't remember who else was in the match, honestly. <laughs> Part of me is kind of shocked that Pete Dunne made it into this match, especially because, uh, you know, UK champion, I would like to believe he'd be defending his UK title on the show, but a uh, part of me isn't surprised that he's in this match because Pete Dunne's awesome. Uh, if I had to do my prediction... For this, I think uh, Pete Dunn, Ricochet, and War Raiders are going to win. No really particular reason why they're going to win. I just think it's going to be them. This is just solely based off of, I believe, that War Raiders, Pete Dunn, and Ricochet are going to win. Uh, Undisputed Era. Whenever, he, whenever Roderick John Colorado loses the NXT Tag Team Championships, I think they're going up to main roster. I don't know how, I don't know how they will do. I think Adam Cole will be fine, but as far as the rest of the three, you saw what happened to Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson right after they split from AJ Styles, and even before they aligned with AJ Styles, so I don't know about the other three, but I think Adam Cole will be fine. If anything were to tell that Adam Cole will be fine, just look at the fact that he was in last year's World Rumble, this year's World Rumble match, and I don't want to see an was in this year's World Rumble match, and he's done pretty well for himself, so I think Adam Cole... We're going to do just fine. But yeah, guys, that's my uh, predictions for NXT Takeover Reward Game. Tell me what you guys think down below. What are your predictions for the show? Let me know. As always, I love you guys, and I will talk to you all later. Peace out.